Tattooed sideshow acts were an integral part of the circus's success. The men and women who displayed their elaborately inked bodies acted as living, breathing billboards advertising their life's adventures and offering a short break from the punter's everyday activities. In today's episode of Unusual As Usual, we're going to be looking into the colourful story of the tattooed Greek, aka Captain Costantinus. <laughs> George Costantinus was born on the 17th of April, 1833, in Sule, Greece. He was well known to be able to speak multiple languages, including Greek, Arabic, Persian, French, Spanish, Italian, German, and English. In 1867, he took part in a French expedition to Burma in search of gold. However, unfortunately, the expedition proved unsuccessful and he, and 11 companions fell into the hands of government troops. As the story goes, nine of the party were executed on the spot. He, an American and a Spaniard were taken prisoner and subjected to a three month long tattooing session against their will. He had to be held down by four men during this process and after the tattooing was completed, the three eventually managed to escape from prison and spent four months traveling through Southern China. The American survived only a few months. The Spaniard went blind and died in Manila and Costantinus made a full recovery, albeit now tattooed from head to toe. After he had recovered, Costantinus traveled to Vienna, Austria, where he stayed for several months. It was here where he attracted the attention of medical professionals who counted 388 symmetrically arranged individual tattoos covering his entire body. The designs ranged from dragons, monkeys, elephants, gazelles, crocodiles, lizards, eagles, fruit, flowers, men and women, foreign writing, and much more. Most of them were quite small, but exceptionally detailed. The tattooing was done in a striking combination of blue and red ink, and covered every inch of his flesh. The only exceptions being the soles of his feet and parts of his ears. After being examined by the academic community, Costantinus began to exhibit himself in Western Europe before making his way to the United States around 1875. By 1876, he was under contract with P.T. Barnum and proved to be a very successful attraction, eventually commanding a weekly salary of $1,000, which in the 1870s was a staggering amount of money, the equivalent in 2020 of over $19,500 every week. Barnum also dubbed him Captain Costantinus and the Tattooed Greek, which helped him become the first fully tattooed man to become a national celebrity. He continued to tour with Barnum for four years until 1880. He was so popular in fact that in 1881, none other than the New York Times printed an article about him stating that anybody in the country who has not seen the tattooed Greek perform must live far in the backwoods. Adding to his mystique, he also sold a booklet called The True Life and Adventures of Captain Costantinus, the Tattooed Greek Prince, available for sale after his shows. Of course, there's no doubt that the stories it told were total fabrications of his life. However, this didn't stop people from buying them by the boxful. In total, he ended up selling thousands upon thousands of copies of his booklet during his years performing, and a few can still be found today preserved in the Princeton, Harvard, and British Museum libraries. During the last performance of the season for the greatest show on earth, Barnum presented a gold medal to the tattooed Greek. The medal was two inches in diameter and manufactured by Tiffany & Co. On one side was engraved his portrait, and on the other side was an inscription, presented by P.T. Barnum to Captain George Costantinus, in recognition of his honourable conduct and gentlemanly deportment during a two-year successful engagement. In December 1883, Costantinus applied for United States citizenship. At the time, he was planning to go to Europe for treatment for his failing eyesight 
but wanted to do so as an American citizen. At the time, he was blind in one eye and losing sight in the other. He became an American citizen that year and sailed for Europe the following year. However, by 1885, he was said to have gone completely blind and retired to a wealthy estate in Greece. That could be the end of his story, retiring to a small fortune and living out the rest of his life in comfort. However, by 1889, he was once again exhibiting himself, this time in Paris, France, before returning to New York. In 1894, he applied for a passport to travel to Europe, planning to return two years later, but after that, he disappears from all records. Apparently, at the time of his death, he was a very wealthy man. According to legend, he willed half of his fortune to the Greek Church of London. The other half of his fortune he divided amongst his fellow showmen and friends. While Costantinus was not the first, he was by far the most remarkable tattooed man of the 1800s. In fact, he was likely the most heavily tattooed man in the world during that century, and he left behind a visual impression that still resonates with popular culture to this day. In recent years, Costantinus's likeness was depicted in the blockbuster film The Greatest Showman, played by Shannon Potzaffel, who made his on-screen debut as the character. However, the character itself was not credited as Captain Costantinus, but rather just as Dancer Oddity 2. Be that as it may, Costantinus's striking look and Holt Zaffel's fantastic dance moves combined really make the character one of the more memorable ones in the film. And there we have it, the colourful story of the tattooed Greek, Captain Costantinus. How about you? Would you ever get a tattoo? Maybe you already have. Let me know in the comment section below and as always, don't forget to like and subscribe. That's all we've got time for today, but I'll see you all next week. And remember, stay unusual as usual. If you've enjoyed this video, you might like this one too. If you want to see more modified marvels, you can check out the full playlist by clicking here. Don't forget to ring that bell to make sure you don't miss out on next week's video. And if you have any ideas on what the next episode should be about, make sure you add it to the comment section below.